sticky, zesty lemon sauce and the lightest, crispiest coated fried fish. This is my version of Chinese lemon fish. All right, so I reckon the key to this dish is getting that ultimate really crispy, light coating on the fried fish. And I know a lot of the time when you get this in a restaurant, uh, you get quite a heavy, thick batter on your fish, which, you know, totally fine, but uh, I have this little hack where I make a little lighter, crispier version. We'll get to that a little bit later. First up though, we wanna talk about fish. So I am using here some snapper fillets. I have just cut them into some nice, you know, dainty little bite-sized pieces here. They will kind of get a bit bigger with the crispy coating. So you wanna kind of like under slice, if you know what I mean. Make them a little smaller than you would think. So you could also use a mahi-mahi here, or if you're in Australia, a barramundi, whatever kind of white fish is great and local in your area. Now the thing we want to do here, and this kind of makes it a little like a little extra special, really elevates this dish, is we start out by marinating the fish. So I'm going to add some soy sauce. And I also want to add some Chinese Shaoxing wine. So I love this ingredient. It really gives you this kind of lovely floral note in the background. Uh, but if you would like to keep your recipe alcohol free, you could just use a little bit of apple juice here as well. And just give that a really good mix. Now this marinade is going to, blah. Now this marinade is actually going to play, blah. Now this marinade is actually going to play a key part in getting our like crispy craggly coating later on. You'll see what I mean a bit later on. But first up, let's get our sauce made. So for my lemon sauce, I always do it in two parts. So the first part, I start out with some chicken stock. You can use fish stock as well. I just always seem to have chicken stock um, in my pantry. Yes, I'm using a store-bought stock because I'm not a hero. <laughs> and some soy sauce. And some sugar. And just give that one a really good mix. So for the second part of the sauce, we're going to be doing the lemon. And I like to keep the lemon separate because I'm going to add it in at sort of like the end of the sauce cooking stage. And that keeps the lemon really bright and fresh. So before you cut into your lemon though, always remember that you need the lemon zest because there's nothing worse than cutting into the lemon and then realizing that you need the lemon zest. Anyway, so a bit of lemon zest here. Now the lemon zest is pretty powerful, um, so I actually don't want the whole lemon, like the whole lemon zest, I just want kind of ma maybe like a quarter. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now the lemon juice. Now I also need a little bit of garlic here, not too much, just like a really small little clove. All right, so now we're all set up to make the sauce. So I just want a little bit of oil here. And then go in with your garlic. And then don't let that garlic color too much. Just go straight in with that soy mixture. And then you wanna bring this up to a little simmer and just let it bubble away for about two or three minutes to let that sugar dissolve. So now that our soy and sugar mixture has done its thing, now we can add in the lemon juice and lemon zest. Just give that a little swirl. And because I don't want to lose that bright, fresh lemon flavor, I don't want to cook this for too much longer. So I'm just going to go in now with some corn flour that I've mixed with some water, and that's going to thicken everything up, make it nice and glossy and sticky and awesome. So this is the kind of texture that you're after, sort of like a honey kind of texture. That's actually gonna thicken up a little bit as it cools. So don't worry if you think it doesn't look quite thick enough just yet. So now let's get on to cooking our fish. We just need an egg white here and give everything a really good mix. And now we're ready to do the crispy crunchy thing. Okay friends, so here's the plan of attack. Uh, what we do is we want some plain flour, that's all purpose flour, and I want quite a lot of it. And then the secret here is that I want you to get some of those fish pieces 
in there, but I also want you to make sure you're getting a little bit of that marinade liquid in there as well. And just do this in batches because I don't want my oil temperature to drop. If you put in a whole bunch of stuff into hot oil, the oil temperature drops and then that's when things get all soggy and oily and not nice. So just batches here, but the key is just toss that fish around and then really give it a good squeeze. And some of that liquidy marinade is gonna mix up with that flour and then that's gonna give you this kind of situation where you've got like those little like craggly gnarly kind of bits happening on the outside of your fish and that is going to turn into the lightest crispiest little coating on each little piece now the other secret here oil temp you can go in with like a fancy thermometer if you want I just judge it by putting in a wooden spoon and for this purpose I want some really fierce kind of bubbles because I want that cooking to happen really quickly really fast and for those like edges to all crisp up so those bubbles are looking pretty furious. They're serious bubbles there, so I reckon we're good. Now make sure you pat off any excess flour because I don't want things to taste floury. And then drop your fish pieces into the hot oil. Now keep those pieces moving around in there a little. I don't want them stuck to the bottom. And because this is fish, this is gonna cook really quickly, like in a matter of a couple of minutes. So as soon as you see this kind of golden crispiness, you're all done. Pop that onto some paper towel to drain. And then go in with your next batch. So a little appreciation moment here for our beautiful crispy fish like this coating guys I cannot tell you like so light so crisp what I like to do here is instead of typically if this was like a, a fried chicken version of this I would toss it in the wok with the sauce but because the fish is a little bit more delicate I kind of like to just like pile it up to my serving plate. and then drizzle with some of our epic, zesty, sticky sauce situation. A little sprinkling of sesame seeds here. And some spring onion just to finish off with a bit of greenery. And there you go, friends. Crispy, but sticky. Chinese lemon fish. Oh, I am excited about getting in here. Mm. It's just like a textural triumph. Um, you know, you've got that crispy, but really light, you know, sort of coating on that fish. It's just like soaked up all of that tangy sweetness. Oh, yum. And then the fish itself, beautifully cooked, nice and tender. Mm. That marinade really makes a big difference. Kind of got that extra layer of flavor and complexity. Wow, I mean, this is one dish you're never eating out again once you've made it at home. Oh, so good. Mm. Love, love, love. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys.